Hey, what's going on everyone? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. Glad you came to watch the episode with us today. I know it's tough out there right now. This time of the year is one of the hardest times to get bites. I know we're all waiting for the fall to kick off. Uh, you know, top water season to start back up again. All right, I got a few things that maybe help you get a few extra bites for this season. We're gonna start off with a few baits that we actually got in from Brian's Bees Custom Crankbaits. Um, Brian's Crankbaits are actually, you know, a whole line of baits that a lot of top level pros use that don't really talk about them too much. First one is this B series crankbait. Now this whole series will cover any cover anything from 12 all the way to 24 foot. So it's their deep diver crankbaits. These are all handmade balsa crankbaits, premium components, nice circuit board lips on them, razor sharp hooks. Um, they also have another cool feature about these crankbaits, this B series, they have a glass rattle in there. So you know, not a lot of balsa crankbaits even have a rattle. So you get the, you know, they get the action of a balsa crankbait. You know, the flat sides on this one as well, you know, just pushes a lot of water, deflects really well off cover, got a nice rattle to it, and then, you know, just, you know, great finishes, hand, you know, hand-painted paint jobs on there. It's just awesome series of crankbaits. The next one here is the Slim Crawler. Now, this is going to be your more finesse style of crankbait. This one's actually silent. Um, it's got this nice wide bill on here, so it deflects well off cover, and, you know, just a little bit more subtle action, a little more subtle vibration for, you know, when the bite's really tough, and you know, the, everyone's throwing, you know, not loud, rattling plastic crankbaits. You want to change it up, just be a little bit more quiet, more subtle. Check out the Slim Crawler. All right, last one out is the Stump Jumper. Now, this is going to be your more aggressive action crankbait. Much bigger body, so it's a lot more buoyant. So you get great deflective capabilities off this. Um, you know, nice narrow rounded bill. So this thing, you know, got a real fast wobble to it. You can burn this thing down the bank and just trigger those aggressive reaction strikes. Just like all of them, you know, circuit board lips, super sharp hooks on there, awesome paint jobs and clear coat finishes. So check out all the brands crankbaits. All right, next up from Picasso, we got the new Shockblade Tungsten Knocker Jig. Uh, I think this is a super awesome design. Uh, my favorite type of jig to throw is a football jig, and this is exactly what this is. But as you can see, it's got, you know, a vibrating blade on the top of it. So not like any other vibrating jig out there with that tungsten head, and since it's, uh, or football head, I'm sorry. Since it's tungsten, you're gonna get a, a really loud, you know, knocking, rattling action out of this. So that blade's gonna hit that football head back and forth. And you can throw this anywhere you throw it, you know, a football jig or even a crankbait. So out on your deep ledges, you know, off, you know, rocky points, anything like that. You can work it just like a jig, and you know, you can also speed it up and get the action of that vibrating, you know, the vibrating jig as well. So kind of two baits in one there, and just you know, super cool design, changing up the vibrating jig arsenal. All right, next up from Omega Custom Tackle. This is a super cool spinnerbait they just came out with. This is the, the Genesis TI spinnerbait. So TI is for the titanium wire frame on there. So su super flexible. You can tune it however you want, but you know, fish are going to bite it and it's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce right back into place. So you're not going to be constantly having to bend the wire back and forth or you know, worry about breaking wire. Uh, but there's a bunch of awesome features on this spinnerbait. There's a ton of things going on here that I want to show you guys. First, they got the line tie keeper on there, so you're not your line's not going to roll up and down the wire and you know get and you know get tangled up in the blades or just you know uh, foul up your retrieve or anything like that. And one of the cool things I noticed about this is they actually have a quick release, a kind of a quick clevis for the front running blade on there. So you can actually just snap off that front running blade and put on any different blade you would like to. So you want to change up your blade configuration or just run it as a single blade. You can do whatever you want. So you can you know. Carry less spinnerbaits, carry a few extra blades, and change out your combination through the day. Really dial in what you need. And then, you know, other features in there, ball bearing swivel for the rear blade. Um, they have a really cool head design. It has a kind of a concave finish on the back, so the skirt kind of flows out from the back of the head. You know, they got a long tail skirt on there. five gamma Gamagatsu hook, so it'll be just an awesome spinnerbait by Omega Custom Tackle. All right, next up from Big Bite Baits, a couple of more iCast releases for you just came in. So this is the Big Bite Tour Toad. So it's just your you know, soft plastic toad style bait. Um, what's cool about this is these, these large serrated leg feet on there. So they're gonna kick up a lot of water, but there's not gonna be that loud, aggressive paddling action. So gonna have a nice bubble trail and uh, just be perfect for you know, when it's calm out and you're not trying to get too aggressive with your top water presentation. Also, um, this would be great for adding on the back of a buzz bait. They actually have a buzz bait coming soon. The Tour Toad Buzz that actually already has this on the back of it. So if you're looking for a new buzz frog, definitely check that one out. All right, another one from Big Bite that I know everyone's gonna be super stoked about is the new Big Bite Trick Stick, the Super Salt Trick Stick. So what they did is they totally changed the entire formula of their, their Trick Stick plastic. So 
It's much heavier and it's loaded with salt. So, I mean, you're getting into a lot better action out of it. It's gonna sink a little bit faster and it's just gonna trigger a lot more bites. Got all that salt in there, fish are gonna hang on to it. They have it in the trick stick and then they also have it in the Nico Wacky Stick, which actually has um, the wacky ring molded inside the plastic so you don't have to be fiddling around putting rings on, rings on worms. They're already in there ready to go. Another cool thing about them is they come in this clamshell packaging. So not a lot of you know, soft plastic worms come in this packaging. So all your baits are perfectly lined up in there and they're always gonna stay straight and not get kinked up. Especially if you're packing them in, a, you know, packing them in the corner of a tackle box, something like that. So awesome there. New bait from Big Bite. All right, next up from Fitzgerald. And last week Fitzgerald had some, some new reels come out. Now Fitzgerald's got a new line coming out. This is a new Versa fluorocarbon. Now this is awesome fluorocarbon. It, you know, pretty much does everything. It's low memory, high strength, um, you know, high sense, you know, low stretch, so really high sensitivity. So, you know, it's really all, an all purpose fluorocarbon. You can do anything with it. They got it from six pound all the way to 25 pounds. So everything from drop shotting to heavy duty flip in, big swim baits, um, this line handles it all and does a great job at, you know, all applications. So new line there from Fitzgerald. All right, we got a bunch of new reels from Lose In. Just wanted to highlight a couple, but we got a ton in from iCast. So make sure you check out all the new Lose reels. The first one is the new Speed Spool LFS inshore reel. So you guys like to do a little inshore fishing, maybe you know freshwater and saltwater fishing. This is definitely going to be the reel for you. I think it comes in at $129.99. Um, but the, you know the features on it, you know, full one piece aluminum frame, brass gearing in there, stainless steel. Uh, I'm sorry, brass gears and then stainless steel ball bearings. And then it's got three drain ports on the bottom, so you can rinse this thing out. All that corrosive material is going to you know, go right out and dry. You're not going to have any issues with corrosion or anything like that. And then overall extend the lifetime of the reel. So if you, you, know, if you do saltwater fishing in freshwater or just looking for a saltwater specific reel, definitely check that one out. All right, next up from Luz, we got the new Tournament Pro. If you guys are familiar with the Tournament Pro, it's been in Luz's line for a long time. It's been there for years. It's been an awesome, outstanding performing reel. Um, they did a couple new upgrades to this new model. Uh, what's awesome about this one is their new P2 bearing system that keeps the, the brass gears perfectly aligned. So over time, you're, it's going to extend the longevity. You're not going to get any wear and then start getting play in the reel. And then, you know, with your gears always perfectly aligned, everything's going to remain super smooth. You're going to get, you know, more smooth fluid cast. And then also when you're fighting fish and pulling them in, uh, it's not going to torque on the reel and the spool. It's going to keep everything nice and straight and you're going to have a lot more power. A um, couple of the other awesome things that are on this reel, they got the, the you know, loses combat style knobs. You, they're super tacky finish, so you know, even when it's wet, raining outside, you have, you know, tremendous grip. Carbon fiber handle, and then one of the things I love about the loose reels is they have this, you know, this little line keeper that slides right out from, you know, behind the bearing right there, so, or the gear, I mean. So just a cool little feature, um, you know, definitely check out the new Tournament Pro for your tournament arsenal there. All right, next up from Luz, one that I'm the most excited about. This is the new Super Duty 300. Uh, I've used the Super Duty myself for about four or five years now, and I've used it for you know the, the smaller version for A rigs, frogs, one ounce spinner baits, and it holds up to heavy duty applications. It holds up really well. Now they got a 300 size reel, so if you're looking to you know fill up a reel of 60, 85, 80 pound braid, you know 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon, this has got that extra line capacity on there, so you're going to hold plenty of line. And you're not going to make a long cast out on a deep ledge and be down to the bottom of the spool and not have, not have your gear ratio and not be picking up as much line as you want to be. So, you know, make super long cast and, you know, and remain, you know, with good performance. Another cool thing is that they have the, the, the traditional double paddle handle on there, but they also have two models that are in the 7.2 gear ratio with the big counterbalance power handle on there. So if you guys like the ocean fish, this is, this is saltwater ready, brass gears stainless steel uh, double shielded bearings in there. So you can go out saltwater fish and this will handle you know, any big fish, stripers, uh, if you're going out and fishing for redfish, um, you know, even deep rock fish, anything like that, this will reel handle. It's an awesome reel from Lewis. Be sure to check out the new 300 Super Duty. We got two new rods we want to show you guys. The new Halo Black Widow series just came in. Now they got everything from, you know, a 6.9 or 6.10 bait casting all the way up to eight foot flipping stick. Um, two spinning, spinning rods in the lineup, so they got everything covered. Now this rod is replacing the old Twilight series, but it's a, it's a premium rod. They have, I believe it's made out of 36 ton graphite. They have stainless steel tangle-free guides with SIC inserts, so super lightweight, 
really sensitive rods. And then the thing I like about it the most is their custom handles they have on there. It's kind of that golf grip style handle, so it's super tacky, especially when wet. And their custom reel seat actually is, is extremely comfortable and holds your hand in there really nice. So new awesome Black Widow series by Halo. All right, last up, but definitely not least, for all the kayak fishermen out there. So we got the new St. Croix Mojo Yak series in. This was actually the best of show winner at the 2018 ICAST show. This was a uh, best of show for the saltwater rods. Um, this is a tremendous rod specifically made for kayak anglers out there. Um, a couple of the features on it that are great for kayak angling. They got the custom wind grip on there, so it's super tacky because you're always wet, always reaching the water or fish splashing around, whatever, you know, or just water from your, your paddle. You know, that nice wind grip handle on there is a huge plus for kayak angling. And also, they've shortened the handles up on all the models, so it's much easier to get the rod around. If you're, we if you're wearing a life jacket, which you should, always should wear, be wearing a life jacket on a kayak, much easier to handle, not gonna get in the way. They got two casting models, six spinning models, all you know, ready to do any application you can do from a kayak, so just awesome new rods here from St. Croix. All right, thanks for tuning in and watching this week's episode of What's New in TW. For more information on the product seen here today, please click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.